What happens when a high-profile name gets involved in an extortion case? In a recent turn of events, the name of First Lady Liza Araneta Marcos became entangled in a whirlwind of controversy. Imagine a 48-year-old individual known by the alias Isco, along with two accomplices referred to as Joselito and German, had a scheme. They promised protection for businesses in the emissions testing and medical field, all in exchange for a hefty sum of $5 million. The twist? They used the First Lady's name as an intimidation tactic. However, the Philippine National Police were quick to clarify the situation. They confirmed that the First Lady had no involvement in the operation whatsoever. The result? The suspects were promptly arrested for their deceptive practices. The public was then urged to remain vigilant in all transactions to avoid falling victim to similar schemes. It was also reassured of the commitment to hold violators accountable. And what about our suspects, you may wonder? They are being charged under Article 293 of the Revised Penal Code. Their prosecution will take place in Passe City. This event serves as a reminder of the importance of vigilance and the swift action of law enforcement in the face of extortion and deception. It is a testament to the commitment to hold accountable those who exploit high-profile names for their personal gain. In conclusion, this case is a classic example of an extortion scheme gone wrong. It's a cautionary tale that reminds us all to stay vigilant and report any suspicious activities to the authorities. So